Okay, guys, so I'm about to get the high res blues from uh, another buddy of mine. He said he went 300, but I'm gonna try to trade him some pandas and maybe give him like 100 bucks, see if he takes it. But um, if he doesn't, then I guess I'm gonna just have to pay that, you know what I mean, and just chalk it up. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. You have panda what? You have one? I have. That's not a panda. That's not a panda. This it's one just, is a panda size nine, panda. and I got a panda size ten. Is woman or men's? Men's. I could take both pandas off of you and give you cash on top. How much? Because what pandas went back up? They're gonna fly two twenty five. Are they? Yeah. The That's why I was saying like I trade you a panda for it. Size what, 10? Yeah, I got 10. Like 9. What do you think? Wait, panda size 9 men or size 10? I'll give you the panda size 10. Size 10 is going for 206. Uh, you have it on you? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, shit. Um, I'll just do the panda and then on a cash. Or do you want me to take both pandas and then I give you one cash? Oh, uh, right. One cash on top, yeah. Do you one panda? Give me a hundred cash, or I take two and I give you a hundred. It's up to you. I'm pretty much just going for two. How about panda and fifty? Nah. Panda and fifty is over retail. Panda and sixty. 60 for this. This thing is going for 330. You know what I mean? And I'm giving it to you for 300. Imagine that. Because if I was no panda 60? No. What, panda 70? I'd rather just panda 100. Because if I do the trade, I'm getting less than what you already offered. So you want to do? You give me two pandas, and I'll give you 100 cash. So Onyx for Res Blue, what do you think? Huh? You want to do it? These are going for three hundred. Giving that to three hundred. What do you think? It's up to you. You the you the man right now. All right. All right, guys. So here we go. Got this off confirm. Just so you know, everything is Gucci. Good looking, my man. I appreciate you. We just traded. So I gave him an Onyx size 10. He gave me the blue res right here. Good business. This is why you make connections. And now I'm about to go home and review these for you. All right, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Got you. All right. What's up, everybody? Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm be showing you guys the Easy Blue 700 High Res Blue. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let me know I'm in the right direction. I'm showing you guys you want to see. If you're new to the channel, I just want to say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, it's a 4K video playing in the background of me. And you guys, when new video is coming ahead of time, if you follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So what you guys saw in that video earlier was just me networking and sourcing. And basically, if you guys have been watching the channel, um, you know, I hate buying things for resale. I am a retail poppy. And when I don't want to use my own cash, I'll even try to trade up and use a little bit more cash or use a little bit less cash, I should say, to buy the shoe. And uh, we had came to a deal. Now, um, this is why you need to start networking and things like that in any niche or anything you want to do in life because you never know what one small conversation can lead to and you never know when you know you can help somebody out and it can mean a lot to them and they can help you out in return maybe one day later on but um that's that and uh, i just want to show you guys a shoe now now this was one of the hardest shoes to get in my opinion on the on yeezy day and uh i finally have it here today now on the top of the box here it says 700 one side of the box says boost the other side of the box is blank on the back. It says Easy 700. It says Easy Boost 700, made by Adidas. You get the Adidas logo under that. I did go to size 10 on these. Okay, show you guys that right there. 
Um, this is the new colorway. In my opinion, it is better than the high res red, but you know, I do like blue a little bit more as a colorway. So, you know, maybe I'm a little biased, but here we go. Take out the extra pair of laces right here. We get some regular tissue paper. Take out this beautiful, beautiful shoe. Um, once again, the shoe was 260 and they're going for about 300. Now, um, we don't get that white sticker on the inside of the box on this pair. Um, from what I've been seeing with all the Yeezy Day shoes that I've gotten so far, sometimes they come on it and sometimes they don't. It's not under or anything like that either. But um, if, you're, if you guys don't have that sticker, you know, don't be worried about it. Um, you still have a chance of your pair being real. But um, honestly, guys, uh, this is a pretty nice shoe right here. And I was pretty upset that I couldn't get it. Pretty upset I couldn't get anything really on Yeezy Day. But uh, let's get right into it, guys. So on the bottom of the shoe here, we get this high res blue. And also you see that exposed boost down there in white pretty fire in my opinion we also see the adidas with the logo on top of that on the back of the shoes okay coming towards the outsole on the shoe here on the back of the outsole we get this very thick rubber outsole okay and then we also get some 3m hits right there and going towards the front we get the red flames on both the outside and on the inside that's pretty fire if you guys look at that right there okay now coming up to the base of the shoe here right in the middle of the base of the shoe we get some blue mesh right there okay pretty fire and then this also is 3M, so I'm gonna show you guys this right here in 3M. And as you guys can see, where all that 3M is on the outside of the shoe right there. Pretty dope in my opinion. But if you look a little bit lower than that, we get like this hairy suede going towards the front of the toe box right here. And then we also get like this purple mesh going towards the front of the toe box. Moving back a little bit further back, we get this darker suede. It's not as hairy as the one in the front, which is kind of like ashier and a little bit more hairier. The one in the back is more smooth. We also get some 3M in them holes right there. Okay, on the outside and on the inside of those ankles, we get that mesh-like material right there. Okay, coming towards the front of the toe box here, as you guys can see before we get to the front of the toe box, we get like this bluish, purplish color right here, mesh right there and then as you guys look at the toe box we get like a gray slash purple it's like a very light violet grayish color if you guys look at that with the same stitching outlining it look at the mud guard right there it's in blue now coming towards the inside of the shoe here we get the same thing we get that mesh in blue we get that violet purple we get like that light purple going towards the front of the toe box and we get that hairy suede in the beginning right before you get to the toe box and then heading towards the back of the shoe we get that darker suede more smoother suede in the back all right pretty fire in my opinion that also is 3m so i'm gonna show you guys that right now as well okay now all right now before we get up to the laces on these we do see this black piece on top of the laces and that is 3m as well we also have it in the middle of the laces as well to hold it down and that then those black pieces are 3m okay now we do actually get two sets of laces with these they come with the infinity loop lace automatically in here and they come with the regular laces as well all right now we do get a blue mesh tongue on these the whole tongue is in this blue mesh if you guys look at that so that's pretty dope if you ask me okay i love the color scheme on this shoe a lot if you guys look at the lace panels on these it's in a blue lace panels and that blue leather okay pretty dope in my opinion all right coming towards the inside of the shoe here we do get some tissue inserts as you guys can see and on the sock lining it is like a light blue all right and then uh, when you come towards the insole it has the Yeezy and the Globe on the left shoe, and on the right shoe, it has the Yeezy and the three stripes. So whenever you see those logos on the inside of the shoe, you already know that these shoes are made from recycled material. Okay, pretty fire in my opinion. Also, under the insole, this is what it looks like right here. I'll show you guys a little clip of that right there, what it looks like. See a little bit of that boost. And then on the inside of the outside of the shoe, all right, we get the production date, which is 422. So they made these pretty quickly. I went with a size 10 and we also get a Yeezy. And it also says Yeezy in there as well, which is pretty fire in my opinion. I'll show you guys that real quick. Coming towards the back of the shoes here, we see that mesh at the top of the back of the shoe right there going down. And then we see some more blue suede, hairy blue suede. And then we get some holes in there, which is actually 3M as well. I'll show you guys that real quick. Under that, we get a little bit more of that blue rubber slash foam material. And we also get a little bit of that black in there as well now i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion now i'm a true size now i normally get nine and a half in all my shoes except for 450s and 350s i normally go a full size up on those but i'm gonna be honest with you guys all Yeezys, I normally do go full size up. I don't know why the Turtle Dove, I got tricked and think I was going to fit that size nine. I was just thinking that, you know, maybe because it came in half sizes, it would fit a little bit better. But I'm honestly still looking for that size 10. But anyway, um, 
I'm gonna just tell you guys straight up with Yeezys if you go full size up you cannot go wrong and they will definitely fit and probably give you the best comfort this is a full size up and I'm sure you guys my foot is in the toe box right here I'm wiggling around but if you guys cannot tell my big toe is right here so I do have a little bit of space in there as you guys can see but these will not crease up because of that mesh material and uh, this is just really nice on feet honestly um, I don't feel any of the material on this side or on the outside, but they feel really nice on feet and it does have that boost technology. Um, if I try to take my foot out the back of the shoe, it does not come out. And uh, I'm telling you guys, full size up on Yeezys is probably the best way to go. Trust me, you won't regret it on most Yeezys. I'm telling you guys, full size up is the way to go. But um, I'm going to show you guys with these like some different pants options right now. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Show your boy some love and stay tuned.